I put my faith in God above, yet all I'd ever learned from love was how to shoot somebody who outdrew ya. Love came in, making two to one, proclaiming God, your kingdom come, and every breath we drew. children are tucked in at night parents dream of peace and light of love and hope and freedom and a future in the midst of war and poverty the broken dreams and the mystery the spirit To the captives and the prisoners In our shame, our doubt, our fears God's calling to you Oh, love it has its victory march Proclaiming peace to those fun Over these past few years, my health has kept me from attending services as often as I would like. With worship services now on Zoom, I can fully participate. I can hear the prayer concerns. I can be in the worship service and take communion. I can talk with my friends in the social time afterwards. Thank you. We grew up worshiping together all the time as a family, of course. Um, but that changed when uh, we both moved uh, from Puerto Rico to very far away places from each other. Yeah, so for the past probably 30 years, we've been able to worship together once a year, if that. Um, and, you know, I always uh, cherish those uh, times, but it was very few and far between. And uh, one of the silver linings of the pandemic has been that we've been able to worship together uh, every Sunday. Um, so it's been very special to me to be able to worship with her, even if it's, you know, at a distance. Uh, I feel that connection with her and I want to thank your congregation for welcoming me. And I hope that I get to see you guys all in person at some point soon. 
so she couldn't have said it any better. Uh, so thank you, Good Shepherd, for allowing us the opportunity to worship together. such a time as this, we need each other to grow faithfully, to connect gratefully, to serve joyfully. These core values have guided us through this year of change. Today and in the weeks to come, we are telling the stories of how we have met the challenges of these times. All of this is because of our shared commitment to the ministry before us. In the days leading up to November 15th, we invite you to carefully and prayerfully consider your financial commitment to Good Shepherd in the year ahead of us. For such a time as this, we need each other and we have all that we need. Thank you and thanks be to God.